Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is still on alphabetic list problems, still on letter P. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a, another disease uh, called pseudomembranous colitis. It is, um, it is an infectious disease and usually caused by treating one infection disease, use antibiotics cause this pseudomembranous uh, colitis. Probably you have heard it. This is not usually not happen to those. Um, uh, actually, it could happen to either uh, young or old people, depends on the individual and depends on the antibiotics used because this usually there's some special or kind of antibiotics associated with this uh, pseudomembranous uh, colitis. Basically, it is a uh, um, a digestive system uh, presented as diarrhea and caused by the Clostridium difficile. That's the special strain of gram-positive um, anaerobic uh, rod. So this is about uh, um, this is about the, the general introduction for this disease. Uh, let me just uh, bring up the uh, emergency situation. An emergency situation associated with the pseudomembranous colitis. Uh, usually for adult, it's not an emergency situation uh, because usually happened when patient undergoing uh, treatment with antibiotics and develop this uh, um, could be bloody mucus diarrhea. Um, but usually it's it's not an emergency situation unless there always unless situation if the uh, diarrhea keep going and uh, cause the electrolyte uh, and uh, dehydration imbalance of electrolyte that's the case particularly for those either young children or older people with uh, uh, comorbidities and cause the um, the heart disease if this imbalance of electrolyte uh, cause the arrhythmia so that is the emergency but usually it's um, it's a uh, it's not that uh, emergent but need to be addressed and treated as soon as possible. Uh, can you manage at home? Probably not because this disease is caused by the um, antibiotics use so have to discuss with the physician has to be diagnosed first confirm us because some of the antibiotics has the side effect of diarrhea whether it is a pseudomembranous colitis or it's just the side effect for the antibiotics so has to be confirmed and diagnosed uh, through the um, toxin test and also through the um, um, clinical evaluation. So anyway, so this is about the the uh, important uh, issues regarding this to uh, regarding uh, this uh, pseudomembranous colitis. Whether you need to visit emergency or whether you cannot uh, manage at home. Like in summary, it's usually it's not urgent, and also it uh, cannot be managed at home. But there is special exception condition you need to visit the emergency. So this is a, what about this? Um, in general, we all know that we have the, the normal um, chloro in the digestive system. And some of them, if it overgrows or uh, the bacteria from the outside, uh, invasion the body, cause the infections, either uh, any infections from the skin, from the respiratory uh, system or from any all systems or digestive system so treated with antibiotics some of the antibiotics uh, had uh, um, this they called uh, um, side effect or whatever it i think it's a side effect probably is not accurate it should be the uh, it's the the treatment of one disease cause another disease uh, this is a, a, a terminology for nosocomial infection or nosocomial disease, which means treat one disease cause another disease. And there's another, so which occur in the medical, uh, associated with the medical settings. And there's another term, iatrogenic, which means um, the negative effect of the treatment. For example, the hypoparathyroidism um, caused the, the surgical a removal because the thyroid surgery caused this parathyroid removed. So this is or the hepatitis B uh, for the healthcare workers and the needle accidentally poke the, themselves. So these are the iatrogenic. It's um, different from the 
a nosocomial infection because this nosocomial is just the the natural process could happen when you treat one disease and then generate the other diseases. So anyway, so this what kind of antibiotics can cause this uh, pseudomembranous colitis? Many of them, and uh, um, the symptoms usually start either within still you're treated with antibiotics, uh, the diarrhea and the nausea, vomiting. The uh, um, the diarrhea could be uh, bloody mucus, and uh, um, may or may not have fever, or probably. Uh, around after you finish your course of antibiotics treatment, you develop this diarrhea, um, the similar symptoms. And if that's the case, even though you already finished the, regardless whether you're still uh, taking the antibiotics or you have you have finished antibiotics treatment, um, talk to your physician about this um, condition, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, may or may not have fever. If that's the case. A CL physician discuss it and diagnose usually through the study of your uh, laboratory test, your, uh, the toxins of this um, um, special stream of bacteria treated with special antibiotics to disconnect, uh, uh, to stop the uh, antibiotics you're taking right now and start another antibiotics which are specific for this um, um, special strain of antibiotics. So this is the pseudomembranous colitis usually occur with the, those people um, already ill taking antibiotics. You probably heard of it. I'm going to stop here and hope it helps and uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching.